Welcome back to this new Pizza Ray tutorial. Today we want to create a quick beach scene. Let's jump right in. Here we are in a fresh blender scene. Today we want to use this water footage here to create our beach. So let's go and delete the cube. We want to create a plane. Let's head in and, cr and change the scale. We want to go here with 30 by 12. And now we can bring this one in here change this to shade editor new material and um, water and now we can drag and drop here our water footage into blender let's pipe this one into our base color and we have to go here to material preview so we can see what's going on first of all i want to change the frames to 500 because the movie has around about 500 frames let's enable a cyclic that's or looping the footage and auto refresh uh, will show here in the editor our movie when we are pressing space and uh, we can see here the animation the first thing is we want to change this to one and bring the color channel right into the roughness so now we can see some reflections are going on so we want to get rid of the beach and because we only want to have the water so let's pipe this color channel here right in to the alpha. And now we have to do some adjustments. So let's search here for the ramp and pipe this one in between. Let's take a closer look here and we can adjust this one a little bit more. So the black is uh, the alpha. So <laughs> later when we are in the rendering, we can see that this is transparent. So let's change this a little bit more and we want to go to something like this. And now we are having only the water stuff. Maybe let's have a look here now when we are going to render it. That's an EV. We want to go with cycles today, GPU compute. And now we can see that this one is transparent. Let's go back to material preview. Now we want to make this a little bit more bumpy. So let's go and put this into a bump node into the height. And this one goes into the normal channel. And I like to bring a little bit more the distance up. So let's go with 1.9. The last thing is let's make a little bit more room here. Uh, we want to make this a little bit more glowy. So uh, let's pipe this into the emission and we need a mix color, bring this one in. Now we want to go from the color channel into a ramp and we want to put this one into the B channel here right now. Let's change this one from mix to multiply. And now we can select here our color. I want to go with the black slider here with some yeah, bluish color here right now to this one. And let's change this one here to black. And now we can increase here the emission strength to two and yeah that's everything for our water here now we want to bring in a landscape let's go to mesh landscape if you don't have this one just go to preferences and search for landscape and enable this one so let's go to a landscape now I want to scale this up to 30 by 30 by 1.6 Three. Let's put this now to minus 19.5 by minus 0.07. And now we have to push our water a little bit more to the landscape. So let's go with minus 4 here. We need some sand texture here. So let's create a new material. And now we can use here the Node Wrangler plugin. If you don't have this, let's go to Edit Preferences <laughs> and search for Wrangler. Enable this one. Let's select the principal BSDF, go to Node Wrangler and add principal setup. I want to go into the ground 54 footage folder and select the color, displacement, normal GL and roughness. Hold down control to select everything and let's press principal texture setup. That looks not so great. So let's, let's go and change this from UV to generate it. So let's bring this one here over and I want to change the scale in the X and Y eight and that looks good and i want to bring this a little bit more to a whitish sand so let's go with the rgb curve and bring this right up 
to this point here. Let's go back into the rendering because we want to bring in now here some HDRI. Uh, let's use the easy HDRI plugin as always. I want to select here my favorite folder and create world notes. And for today, I want to use here the pink sunrise. Yeah, and we have to go here now into the world settings because I want to get rid here of this ugly road. Let's change the rotation and the Z value to minus 210. That looks better here. Now we want to bring this a little bit down here. Let's change the add value to 0.1. Let's bring in our palm assets. Let's go to file import and obj. Uh, we want to select here the core line re obj and the obj. Yeah, we can see that this one is quite big here. Let's put all the stuff into a collection underscore palm. And I want to bring in here a new uh, empty plane axis. Put this one into the palm as well. And now we want to select uh, the other palm stuff by pressing control. And now we have to press shift and drag and drop this into the empty. And when we're selecting now the empty, we can go to item and scale this in the X, Y, and Z to 0.015. So this one looks better here right now. Let's change this one now to object again. And we want to select here one of the palm stuff. Here are no textures as we can see. Let's go into the textures free folder, which you can download as well. And then we have to put uh, the color channel. Want to use the gloss. And the last thing will be here, the normal map. Let's pipe all the stuff together. The color goes into the base color and the gloss into the roughness. And I want to put the normal map into a normal map node. And this goes into the color and then into the normal. Uh, that's looking good. We can change the empty now to minus seven in the Y. And I want to rotate this a little bit to 20 here. But that's up to you. I think now it's time to change the camera view. So let's go here now to 15.5 by minus 7 by 0.8. Let's rotate this to 102 by 0 by 70. And let's go into the camera settings and change this here and the focal length to 19. And I want to bring in here the Pespa 2 as always. So we can see that we need some kind of horizon. So um, yeah, we don't see here these three stuff. And so what we can do easily is uh, duplicate this one. So let's press shift and D. And I want to bring this now to eight here. Let's rotate this to 180. Let's duplicate this one again. And I want to change this now to minus 21 by minus 5.2. Rotate this to 90. And the last one is a big one. So let's duplicate this again. Let's go to minus 12 by 24, 80, 0 and 90. And let's scale this up here in the Y to 54. So it's not really visible that we scale this one up. So I think that's OK. So let's go ahead and change our light here. Let's bring this one in. And I want to go and change this to a sun. Let's change this now to a pinkish color. And let's turn down this to one in the strength. And we can see that we're having here some shadows. And I want to turn the angle down to zero. I want to lower the angle number here to zero because I want to have some sharp colors. As you can see here, I'm turning this to one. The um, color, the <laughs> shadow is much more sharper than by 10. So let's go with a zero and that's a really sharp shadow right now. And let's go to the settings here. And we want to change this now to 42 by 75 by 310. So now we're having here these cool shadows, which are going from our light. Let's bring in a new cube, which is for our fox. So let's increase this to 100. New material, um, fork, 
Let's delete this one and let's go to volumetric scatter. Bring this one in. Today we want to create two uh, color looks. The first one is a little bit more a night look. So we need some color like this. So let's <clears throat> change this here now to more reddish color. As you can see, it's always the opposite. And now we want to turn down the density to 0.25 and the anisotropy to 0.633. For today, I want to change here the render settings. So let's go uh, to render and to the light path and go here into the settings and change this to fast GI. So this is a little bit more hazier here and a little bit more faster to render. Okay, that's the first color look. Maybe let's go down here to color management and change the look to very high contrast, but that's up to you which contrast you like. The second look, let's go with the A here for the first light. Let's duplicate this one. And we want to go with a B. And this one is a little bit more a sunset look. So let's duplicate this one and let's change the color here to a reddish color and we want to go into the fog and duplicate the volume scatter shifty and pipe this one here instead and we want to change the color here as well to a more bluish color which is the opposite and now we're having a little bit more sunset feel good contrast with the water and that's all for this one that was this tutorial and if you like my stuff check out and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me check out my Gumroad or Blender Market page. See you there and bye.